Hi students, now let's try to go into the crypt arithmetic multiplication. We have done a couple of questions on the basis of additions. Now we are going into crypt arithmetic multiplications. Multiplications are same like additions, but here you have to do a little bit product. Logics are same, almost same. But let's try to add on some extra tricks to understand what is this. So in the previous sessions, I told you A added with B, I'm getting A back. So you all know that. A is getting with B to get A back. So we all know that B value has to be zero. So this is okay in case of addition. Now, when we just try to go in case of multiplication, A multiplied with B, I'm getting A back. So we can understand that this B value cannot be zero because this is a multiplication. In this case, the basic rule says that B has to be one because one into A is one. One three is a three. 1, 2 is a 2, 1, 4 is a 4, 1, 5 is a 5. So this kind of things are very important for you to remember. In case you have a two digit number, for example, have a look here. A is multiplied with B, I'm getting CA. I'm getting CA. In this, you should understand that here, if you multiply 1, 1 is a A, we know that. This is very simple, but I'm getting a two digit number called CA. So C is not possible. So that is the reason this cannot be one. So what is the following operation? What is the following multiplication? We should just try to get the same value having a two digit. In case of single digit, you are saying this is one. That is true. But in case of two digit number, this cannot be one. This should be something like this. Listen, everybody. Five. Five three is a 15. Means you're getting same thing. You are getting the same thing, but a two digit number. So this is possible. Five into three is 15 or five into five is also five. And five into seven is also five. How? Seven fives are 35. You're getting five back. You're getting five back. Okay. Five multiplied with nine, you're getting five back. So this is the one which you are supposed to follow. So in case of multiplication, if you have two digits, so this is a strategy you have to follow. Not only this, we have various kind of, you know, uh, like multiplications. This is one such and there, let's try to go for the another. That is six. Six multiplied with two, I'm getting two back. Six twos are 12. So try to understand that if you want the same number back, you have to multiply six with an even number called four. Again, you're getting 24. So six multiplied by six also you're getting the same number and uh, six eights uh, we can call 48 but we are getting same number back so whenever you have the same number back whenever you have the same number back so you should always remember this kind of operations these are the basic rules we should remember in case of multiplications sometimes this one small hint will definitely give the whole picture now let's try to have uh, the next a sample question where you can have these kind of strategies okay now students let's try to move forward to crypto multiplication one of the first question which you can see on the screen here he told you apd is multiplied with ad to get rpad and then ddcd and then when you have to add all these things you'll get dpced this seems to be a little bit bigger for you because this is a multiplication we have done a lot of addition based questions but as you know, crypto arithmetic, one small hint will give you all the things. And one thing you never forget that copy paste is one such thing. As I told you the basics of multiplications just now, he told you that these are the things what we are supposed to use in case if you have anything. Now look at the basic hint now, which is here that A is multiplied with D to get D back. I think you can see the screen very clearly. A is multiplied with D to get D back. Here in front of you, a lot of basics here. Using these all strategies, you can just try to solve that question using that blinking one. Now, let's try to have the next hint in this. Another hint is D is multiplied with D to get D back. So this is very simple. One ones are one. You can understand that. One multiplied with one to get one back. And another hint you're going to have here is what? The basic addition. These all are added to get this thing here. He told you. A is, sorry, I mean to say 
P is added with C to get C back. In this, you can clearly see that these two are blinking now. P is added with C to get C back. So here we have a lot of stuff. You have a lot of um, hints. So using these hints, you have to solve this question. But I will help you out how these hints will crack the whole question. I have already told you the basics. These basics, I will use it here. And the addition basics are all helpful for you to crack this question. Now, students, let's try to move to the critter term to multiplication. The first question you have on the board now. As I have told you the basics, the first basic is what? A multiplied with D to get D back. This is the first, uh, first hint you have. And the hint, I have told you that P added with C to get C back. Students, we have done this addition that P added with C back is P value has to be zero. You remember that we have done addition. It has to be zero. If it's not zero, it has to be 10. 10 means nine and a carrying. So these are the two hints we have. That is a very big hint. Using this hint, we can crack the whole question. Let's try to start doing here. P value, we can guess. P value either has to be 0 or P value have to be 9. So this we have learned in the previous questions. Now, let's try to have another hint here, A and D. Removing this one, let's try to move forward now. A is multiplied with D to get D back. So A multiplied with D to get D back. So D has to be 5 as I've already told you from these basics. Okay, now A value can be either 1 or 3 or 5, or 7, or 9. So we have all these possibilities. If this is not working out, let's try to change the another one. So this is a hint which I'm using. A values we have on the board. And also we have D value on the board. D value have to be 5. And A value have many possibilities. OK, now 5, this is 5. 1 5s are 5. 3 fives are 15, 5 fives are 25, 7 fives are 35, and 9 fives are 45. All these possible values are there for A. Now, what do we do now? What do we do now? Here, we have to see the possibilities. Now, let me check A value. A value as 1. Let's try to take the A value as 1. 1 is possible or not possible? I'll tell you shortly. Now, listen. If A value is 1, 1 fives of 5, we understand that D value is 5, 1 fives of 5, I'm sorry, 1 fives of 5. But 1 into P has to be P. As we don't have P here, so A value cannot be 1. So that is the reason I am ruled out A value as 1. Now, I will tell you one more number, one more digit which can rule out is 5. Students, we can simply rule out 5. I hope you know the reason. Why? Yes. Yes. The simple reason D is 5. A cannot be 5. Yes. So what I'm doing now, I'm putting D value as 5 everywhere. As I know, perfectly D is 5. What is A? I'll let you know shortly. A is not 1. A is not 5. Now we can put A value as 3. If 3 is possible, it's OK. If it's not, we have another option. Let's try to have 3 here. A value is 3, A value is 3, A value is 3, wherever A, A has to be 3. Okay, now let's try to have another value here. P. Let's try to have P with the help of this. A is 3 and P is 0. 0, 0. Now, let's try to have here, everything is matching or not. We'll let, we will get it shortly. D is 5, copy it 5 here. Now, five fives are 25, five and carrying two here. There's no issues here. Five twos are, sorry, five zeros are zero plus two is three. It's not possible. It's not at all possible. So P cannot be zero. P cannot be zero. So P has to be ultimatum nine. Now let's try to have a look here. Five fives are 25. Five plus two carrying. Five nines are 45. 45 plus two is 47. I'm not getting A as seven. 
Now students, we have an opportunity that we can put a value as 7. When we put a value as 7, a value is 3 not possible. Now we are going a value as 7, 7, 7. Now this will be very easy for you to understand that a value is 7 or not. If a value is 7 not possible, then definitely we'll go for a value as 9. Let's try to have a look everybody. 5, 5 is a 25, 5 plus 2 carrying here. 5 nines are 45, 45 plus 2, 7. Students, it's perfectly matching. Carrying is 4. Now, 5 sevens are is 35. As you know, 5 sevens are 35. 35 plus 4 is 39. So this has to be 3 and this has to be 9. Now, we don't have any complications. P is 9. P is 9. It's completely matching. Means we are almost all doing the correct way of doing this question. Now, let's try to go for the second row of multiplication. 7. 7 fives are 35. 5. And let me just try to remove the previous carry. 7 5 are 35, 5 plus 3 carrying here. 7 9 are, you all know that that is 63. 63 plus 3, 63 plus 3 is 68. Sorry, 66, 6 and 6 carrying here. Now we all know that 7 7 are 49, 49 plus 6 is 55. It's perfectly matching. Now here, let's try to have 5 and here. 7 plus 5 is 2. There is no 2 possible here. The carrying is 1. Now 9 plus 1, 10. 10 is added with 6 to get same 6 back. No issues in this question. Now here there is one carrying called 1 here. Now 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 1 perfectly matching. That is 9. It's perfectly matching. So whenever you have got something which is very similar, then you have to understand that you are going somewhere right. If you're getting same value somewhere, you're getting somewhere right. So this kind of approach will definitely help you. And this is the first multiplication which we have done. And you just rewind this video and just try to uh, go back to the starting and just try to see three, four times. The basic hints will help you. As I'll tell you one, once again earlier, this is a basic hint which we have understood. And the second hint is what? This one. P added with C to get C back. This is the way we are supposed to try to get the questions. So I think you have understood this question. So next question I'll explain you with the same strategy. So whenever any elitmus question comes to your paper, whenever you write down, you have to search for the basic hint. And that hint will crack the whole question. Okay. Thank you very much. Think placements. Think brainless.